of divas. Frugal diva. Frugal diva. What? What? Frugal diva. Southern Charities Bakery. Southern Charities Bakery. Yes, dogs and divas, we are here today with another exciting video. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul. I say thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hitting that like button. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing because sharing is caring, y'all. And without further ado, we're going to get into it. Mm, nope. We're going to do the call to action. So we are in the year of what? 2020. We are in the what? Lunar New Year. What? The year of the what? What? Mm -hmm. So we are doing the call to action as we have been doing on the last previous videos. And if you don't know what the call to action is, the call to action is, we want to get over that 1,000 subscriber mark. Now, how are we going to do that on this channel? We're going to do it through you. So if you are not subscribed, I really don't know what you're waiting for. If you are subscribed, make sure your notification bell is turned on. And also make sure that you are active. Active so that I know that you want to be a part of this family. Because of course, you know, I call y'all family. YouTube calls y'all sub subscribers. K sarah sarah. Tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. Not. Let's make sure that we're subscribed. Yes. So, today's video, and we, like I said, we want to get over that 1,000 mark. So, like I said, if you're not part of the family, please come on in and become part of the family. We have lots of fun over here. So, today's video is a definite Wizarding World video. And this video, we are going to find out where we should buy our lounge fly bags. So we're going to do a, a cute little um, game. We're going to play a game. And the game is, game is basically, where did I buy this lounge fly bag? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each bag in its entirety. I'm going to tell you about the details of the bag. And after that, then we're going to you know, say in the comment section where it is you believe I bought the bag from. So the first bag that we're going to do is we're going to do this bag here. And this is Ron Weasley's bag. So let's come up close and show you the bag. So this is Ron Weasley's bag. Now, on this bag, we do have a pin, and this is a Gryffindor pin because Ron Weasley is a Gryffindor. I'm not a Gryffindor. I'm a Ravenclaw, but Ron Weasley is a Gryffindor. So I did put this, but this button did not, I mean, sorry, this pin did not come with the bag, but I did put it on there. Now, these two little keychains here, trinket keychains, are from the, uh, I think it's an animated series called um, Hell Neighbor. And, of course, Hell Neighbor has enough, nothing to do with Ron Weasley. But, however, I'm look, I put this on the bag because of the color, color scheme of what Hell Neighbor is wearing. It goes very well with the bag, so that's why I put them on, the, on this bag. So this, this is the bag here, and as you know, if you don't, well, I'm pretty sure you know, Loungefly uses faux leather or um, vegan leather. They also call it vegan leather, which basically this is a leather look, but it is not leather. However, this bag is the Gryffindor colors. It is burgundy, and it is yellow or gold, if you want to say gold. I'll say gold. Uh, burgundy and gold and I just think it's wonderful it does have Ron's initial R with his last name Weasley here it does have the Harry Potter lounge fly here and as you see it is black with gold accents 
This bag also has some wonderful tan color. So the, the color scheme for this bag is actually burgundy, gold, and tan. And as you see that this hardware here is the metal hardware. Now let's turn it to the side. We do have a Gryffindor patch, which is awesome. And the color scheme is shown here on the side. Now the back, it is burgundy. The bottom is also burgundy. Let's take a good look at the handle. I mean, sorry, not the handles, the straps. They are a tan faux leather. Nice and heavy duty. The loop, if you want to carry it so, is a tan faux leather. Let's turn it to the other side. And these are pockets. Some people say you can put water inside of these pockets. I don't think so. But it does fit my phone perfectly. Now, the front, back to the front, we do have this wonderful zipper. And on the zipper, it does say lounge fly. And the accent of the hardware is gold, which I believe is wonderful because of the color scheme. It does say lounge fly on all of the zippers. So let's just open it up so we can look at the inside because there is a cute little detailing on the inside. So here on the inside, it has the gold and burgundy. Now some lounge fly bags come with the inside with that wonderful um, lining. And some, I believe all of the lining is wonderful, but some come with detail lining, such as this one. And some of the lounge fry bags do not come with detail lining. So this is the first one. Oh, and that number two there at the top. I think that's his, I think that's his Quidditch number. I'm not sure. I think that's Ron's Quidditch number. But in any case, here it is. Or maybe that's the house quidditch number. I'm not sure. I can put that in the comment section below. So that's the first bag. So I'm not going to tell you where I bought it from. I'm just going to show you that bag. And then I'm going to give you the three places where I bought these bags from. And you tell me in the comment section where it was. Where you think each bag came from. So now this is the second one. And this is, of course, a lounge fry. Harry Potter. And this is also made with that wonderful vegan leather or faux leather. This also has the pockets on both sides. Now this is the uh, spellbound because it has all the it has a lot of the different um, spells on here. You know, um, Expo Trotum. Um, Ridiculous, ridiculous, different, but all of the, like a lot of the different uh, spells. So let's come in close so you can see. Now it does say lounge fly here at the top, but this is the same faux leather. It is not the hard wear hard. Now this front pocket is a deeper, a little bit of a deeper front pocket because it is not the one that, bulges out like the first one that I showed you. Now the zipper, the zipper pull does not say lounge fly. It's just a regular schmegler zipper pull. All of the zippers are just regular schmegler zipper pulls. Now this um, little uh, keychain here is from Cuphead. Once again, not Harry Potter, but the color scheme, I thought it went well with the bag, so that's why it's on the bag. So now let's turn it to the back. Now, these straps in the back are the faux leather, but they are not the puffy faux leather straps. But they are faux leather straps, and they, they are the faux, faux leather straps. But they're not the puffy ones. And let's just look at the detailing of the hardware. Like I said, it does not say lounge fly. The leather hold or handle, a faux leather handle. 
So that is the second bag. And once again, I am not going to tell where I got each bag from. I'm just going to tell you the three stores. And you're going to put in the comment section where you believe I got the bag. Last but not least, we have this bag here. Oh, I forgot to show you. The inside of that bag right there, the reason why I forgot to show you is because the inside of the bag is no special um, liner. It's just regular black lining. Just a regular black liner. But I do believe, oh yes, okay. Let me pull out some of this paper. I do believe on the inside here, yes, it does have, now it does not have special lining, but it does have a pocket on the inside. There's a zipper pocket on the inside of this one. So it doesn't have a special lining, but the wonderful thing on the inside there is the pocket. It has an extra pocket on the inside. So now let's go to the last one, which is my house, Ravenclaw. So this is my Harry Potter Ravenclaw bag. And on this bag here, it does say Harry Potter, but it doesn't say lounge fly. And of course, this bag is also made with the faux sorry, faux leather or vegan leather. Let's come in close so you can see the raven on the front here. I do have my uh, my pin, my Ravenclaw pin that I put on the bag. And then I have, this bag is Ravenclaw, so it has, which makes, anyway. <laughs> So it has the bird, the bird here. I'm just going to say the bird because there's a whole thing we got going on with Ravenclaw. So the bird, we're going to say the bird. So now let's turn it to the side and it does have the pocket, which I can put my phone in. Now let's turn it to the back. The back is black and it has the. leather strap and this is the somewhat puff it's somewhat puffy not as puffy as the first one but still puffy puffy leather strap St straps sorry turn it to the other side the other pocket now this one just like the second one the zipper pull does not say lounge fly however the inside of the bag let me see. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking something different. Okay, inside here I have a um my a journal. But in any case, inside of the bag it does not have a special uh, liner. It's just black. I thought that it had a zipper. I thought I was going to show y'all a zipper, but no, there is no zipper at the back. So this one does not have uh any special li liner. Nor does it have a extra pocket on the inside, zipper pocket on the inside. So, now that we've shown you all three bags, I'm going to tell you the three places where I got the bags from. And I'm going to just talk a little bit about uh, Harry Potter while you go to the comment sec while you go to the comment section and put in. Where do you, where you believe I, I bought the bag from? And then, at the end, I am going to tell you where each bag came from. And let's see if you got them right. So, the three places where I bought these bags from. One was the Funko shop, which is um, Funko. And if y'all don't know, Funko is doing a has a collaboration with lounge with with lounge fly as a matter of fact if i'm not mistaken i think funko bought into lounge fly if i'm not mistaken if i'm if i'm mistaken put it in the comment section below but i believe funko funko who make the, the you know all those wonderful funko pops bought into lounge fly if i'm not mistaken so in any case, I bought one from Funko, directly from the Funko shop. 
I bought one directly from Loungefly. And I bought one directly from, uh, um, no, sorry. I bought one directly from Loungefly, one directly from Funko, and one from Hot Topic. So we have Loungefly, direct from Loungefly, from direct from Funko in collaboration with Loungefly, with, with Loungefly, because I do believe that Funko owns some ownership of Loungefly, and Hot Topic. So let me just show you a quick look of all of the bags. This is the third one. This is the second one. And this is the first one. Okay. So now that you've had time to look at all the bags, I showed you the details of the um of the bags. I want you to definitely go to the comment section and tell me where I bought which bag from. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, make sure that you are, make sure you, you become part of the family because I do a lot of different videos. I do food related videos. I do Wizarding World videos. I do Lush videos, which I have a Lush, a little Lush haul um, come, um, um, either my next video or the video after that. I do f once lots of food related videos because I own my own bakery, so I'm going to put a lot more of food-related videos on this on this channel. Um, oh, and tastings. I like to do tastings, so I'm definitely going to have tastings on it, which will be food, you know, obviously that's food-related. But I just do a plethora of things. And Disney, I do Disney, vi Disney videos. I try not to put now with... Um, YouTube and all this different stuff going on. I try not to put the word Disney in my um in my in in my title even if I'm doing a um a Disney uh a Disney style of video. I try not to put it in the title. I may put it like I may do my um Oh gosh, what is it called? The picture the picture that you see when you before you click on the video, for whatever reason, it's escaping me. Uh, I'm about to say tag, but it's not tag. Uh, it's escaping me. But in any case, I want um I what I'll do is if it's a Disney related video, I'll put it there in that uh on that on that picture. I'll try to put it on that picture, but I'm really gonna do my best not to put it in the title because YouTube's got a lot going on now. So, in any case, now I'm going to tell you where I got each bag from. So, this bag right here, which was number three, I actually got this bag from Funko. And the reason why I made mention to let you know that Funko has some type of ownership in with Loungefly is because I'm just shocked at the bag itself is really, really nice. However, let me just tell y'all something. The bag isn't up to the standard of a lot of, of some of the bags that I have gotten from places like Box Lunch and Disney. There's some frayed pieces. Y'all may not be able to see that. Because I did pull a lot of them off. Let me see. It's right there. Okay, there's a there were a lot of when I got the bag, there were a lot of those kind of frayed pieces that I had to like burn off and, and, and take off and stuff like that. So I'm like, uh, you know, putting the bag together, I think that's a little haphazardly. Also, the fact that the zipper, the zipper pulls do not say lounge fly. And I'm, a, I'm shocked by that for the simple fact that, like I said, that Funko. I believe now is part owner of Loungefly, so I would think they would get a really 
uh, I think they would get um, quality like maybe like Disney or like uh, even like Box Lunch because Box Lunch tends to have the quality of a Disney lounge fly bag. So I'm a little shocked about that. And then not only here, it doesn't even say lounge fly. Okay, it just says Harry Potter. It said it doesn't say Harry Potter lounge fly. It just says Harry Potter. So I don't know if it just says Harry Potter because um, this um, this was I guess maybe this is particularly made for Funko for the Funko shop and maybe uh, maybe they didn't want to put um, lounge fly on it because this was particularly made for the um, Funko shop. Now the tag does say um, lounge fly to let you know that this is a lounge fly bag, but this doesn't say lounge fly. It just says Harry Potter. It doesn't even say Funko or anything, whatever. It just says Harry Potter. So I'm, I was really kind of shocked and amazed by that. Number two, this bag here I got from Hot Topic. This was actually my first, not my first lounge fly bag, but my first Wizarding World bag. This was the first bag that I got that was Harry Potter related, Wizarding World um, related. Now this does say Harry Potter lounge fly. It says Harry Potter lounge fly. Unlike that bag that just says Harry Potter. Also, something that Hot Topic tends to not have is the faux leather strap. Normally, um, Hot Topic straps are more um, canvas, like uh, seat belt um, kind of material, canvas seat belt kind of material. But this is true to form when it comes to lounge flies, uh, when it comes to Hot Topic's mini backpacks, true to form that the zipper does not say lounge fly. Very much true to form. Because that's... That, that's the quality that they normally give to Hot Topic. And I talked about that in a, another, I don't, uh, I don't think that video was able to get, get up. But I did talk about that in another video. And last but certainly not least, the bag of my three bags that I actually love the most, even though I am not, um, I am not Gryffindor, I am Ravenclaw, but I actually, of the three bags, this is the one I love the most. I, I just love it. I love the detail on it. I love I love how they put this bag together. I love I just love this is this is the quality that I expect from Lounge Fly. Especially when I've gotten when I've gotten bags from Hot. I mean sorry, when I've gotten bags from Box Lunch and from Disney. These this bag right here is a bag that um definitely I would I would have bought from Disney or from Box Lunch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this is the quality of Lounge Fly that I am very much used to. Look at it. Look at the de I mean just look at the detail. How they put the detail into the bag. The way they the, the way that they uh, sewed the bag together. Very high quality. The fact that it has the Lounge Fly zipper pull. It says Lounge Fly on the zipper pull. This, this detail on the side where it has the crest, the um, Gryffindor crest, the back, this flux, 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 I said flux, <laughs> flux fur. Let's, let's go with vegan because that word is kind of, mm, yeah. <laughs> vegan fur, vegan leather. I said, I keep, and I'm calling it fur, leather, vegan leather. This vegan leather strap is definitely quality that i would see at Di at disney or at um box lunch it has the puffy puffiness to the uh to, to the strap the, i mean this is just the quality and even the hardware just the quality that lounge that that lounge fly is definitely known for definitely definitely the quality so in any case i got this bag from Lounge Fly, directly from Lounge Fly. And I also want to tell you, this bag, I, let me think about it. Mm, yes, it is. Of my mini backpacks, this bag was actually the cheapest mini backpack that I have gotten. No, I'm wrong. I am wrong. 
I am totally wrong. The cheapest backpack that I got from um, Lounge Fi um, was at Disney, at the Disney store. When I went to um, the Disney Character Warehouse, that bag was $14 and some, ch $14 and some change. So that bag just beat this um, bag out by like a quarter. I think it beat it out by like, not even a quarter. Beat it out by maybe like uh, 10 cents. I think like 10 cents. Because that bag I think was like $14.90 or $14.99 or something like that. This bag was $15. Was $15. I paid $15 for this bag. And I bought this bag before Lounge Fly's um, website went up to $100 free ship uh, or you know free shipping when I bought this bag it was at 75 when, when I bought this bag and you bought directly from their site $75 or more you would get free shipping now they have gone up $25 and now it's a hundred dollars or more free free shipping so But yes, I got this bag. But they do, like, if you don't, if, if you are a person who likes lounge fly bags and maybe you don't live near the Disney store where you can get those great deals, um, live near any Disney stores where you can get those great um, a great deals, especially the Character Warehouse, where you can get the great deals on lounge, lounge fly bags. And um, for whatever reason, you keep missing out on the lounge fly bags when they're on the uh, Shop Disney website, when they're at a great price on the Shop Disney website, um, I would I would say consider going to the Loungefly website, and they have they a lot of times they have a lot of bags, a lot of these uh, mini um, backpacks on sale. You just have to keep checking the website, but they do have them. They do have them on have them on sale, and that's what I do. I buy the ones that are on sale that I like that are on sale and that's how I get that's how I get the good really really good discounts and of course um, box lunch I don't live exactly near box lunch but box lunch a lot of times um, has box lunch money if you're a box lunch person box lunch money where you can get good deals and when they have the 25% off and 30% off great deals hot topic also all of my Honestly, to tell you the truth, tell you the honest and the truth, I did not pay full price for not one lounge pie bag that I have gotten, whether it be from Box Lunch, Hot Topic, Disney, Shop Disney, Disney Store, um, the Funko Shop, Lounge Fly, Lounge Fly themselves. I have not paid full price for not one of my lounge fly bags i have not paid a only the only thing that i've paid oh, the only lounge fly items that i pay full price for are like the wallets because i like to i want to get I, I want to get a wallet for each bag that i have i want to get a wallet for the for the um for the uh for the bag so the wallets like two or three of the wallets i paid full price for um or did i No, no, not even the wallets. I haven't even paid full price for the wallets. No, I haven't. I have gotten them when they have been on sale, depending on where, you know, where I went. I've gotten them where they have been on sale. But like I said, they are de definitely, 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 I have not paid full price for any of my mini backpacks. None. I have not paid full price for none of them. And I think the most that I've paid for a mini backpack was, I think, like $35. That's the most that I've paid for one of my mini backpacks. The, I believe that's the most. No, $40. $40. $40 is the most I've paid for one of my mini backpacks. $40. So in any case, Dawns and Divas, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not part of the family, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you are part of the family, make sure your notifications bell is turned on. And as always, mm, smooches. This has been long, but hey, hope you love me for it anyway.